Well, students from different schools right here in the Bronx have a new institute for experiments, research, and pretty much all things science. News 12 Shanice Archer watched the Stanley Mann Research Institute open its doors for everyone here in the Bronx community. <laughs> Dozens of students from Bronx Science couldn't wait to step foot inside their new Stanley Manny Research Institute. I know they literally have negative 80 degree freezers in there, which are so much colder and would just allow us to retain all these like cell cultures for long term usage. This 12,000 square foot building has multiple labs, a specimen room and high tech equipment that's not available in any other public school. The purpose of this building is to provide something that the students didn't have in the existing building, which is space to do independent science research projects. Inside this environmental room, it changes temperatures, giving students an opportunity to watch bacteria grow with temperatures ranging from 4 to 37 degrees Celsius, depending on the experiment. Stanley Manny graduated from Bronx Science High School in 1952 and donated $22 million for this institute. He wanted this to be a place where all students in the Bronx could have that same exposure to science research that changed his life. A place that can birth a future scientist. It, it gives many an opportunity to get what I got. Bronx Science is a great institution and I hope they build 10 Bronx Sciences around the world. The Stanley Manny Research Institute is now open to Bronx science students, alums, and people in the community, along with six partnership schools nearby. In Bedford Park, Shanice Archer, News 12.